Previously on Welcome to the Family. I can't sleep and it's just uncomfortable. We're about to take the girls driving right now. <laughs> oh, that is nice. What? what? This time, a number of things went wrong. It was just a real mess. I'll grow my tail longer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a fight. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. Today is day one of a three-day cleansing diet. With all the tours and traveling and everything, I kind of beat up my body. Now it's time for me to get back in shape again. If you're a health freak or expert, please do comment and give me some feedback. I don't have an issue being disciplined, you know, I used to bodybuild years ago, and that's really where I got my discipline from when I was younger. I would train six days a week. I looked pretty good back then. <laughs> One of the things I tell people is that if you want drastic changes in your life, you have to tell the world because everyone is out there watching. It makes sure that you don't fail because you know the world knows. You've told the world what it is that you're doing. You're telling everyone what it is that you want in your life. So today I start my morning with some grapefruit, and one slice of bread with peanut butter and my cup of coffee. Let me let you go so I can eat my delicious breakfast. Then we'll check on the office and see what's going on. Who the hell is that? Oh! Now, where are you? Oh. Pulp Fiction. Yeah, I'm sorry. You guys aren't used to seeing me in a tie. Yeah, this is what I look no, like. No, look at the hair. What is people always wear a hat? People always say, what's the day? Yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, like, now I'm wearing a shirt and tie, so. Well, one of the things that we do is as we're filming some of the shows, we have to do voiceovers. I'll give you an example. The show, Welcome to the Family, we'll go ahead and look at it after it's edited. This is the show that comes out once a week on Wednesdays at eight o'clock uh, Eastern time. After I review this, then right there is where we do the actual voiceovers. Yeah, that's part right here. I think that's stuck in my ear. You gotta see the episode. Right about now, I got really nervous. So we're in the hospital because my grandmother fell down yesterday and broke her hip, and she was having surgery today. Shout out, she's in the ICU. Where is she? That's my Regular dad. Regular room. Regular room. Did they operate her yet? No, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow? Hey, mom. Abuelita. Abuelita. Are you dancing? <laughs> there goes my mom. <laughs> and there goes my grandma. Tu también estás bailando. <laughs> you know you dance to this? No. I'm not gonna show you, but. I'm vlogging, I'm sorry. Oh, what up? I'm not vlogging. We got the ambassador from tomorrow morning. They're coming at 10. You better make sure you're up. And we have. You are vlogging. I'm not vlogging. I'm, I'm, talking, wait, I'm not vlogging. They're just joining us. Oh, hi. <laughs> right. It's kind of weird to have you around all the time, right? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Hello, Eleanor. Hello. 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 We have two French interns. You met Nguyen, and now we have Eleanor. Yes. So, tell us about yourself. Where, where are you from? You know, tell me things. I um, come from Brittany, and <laughs> I'm 19 years old. You're actually from the same town or city of Nguyen, right? Yeah. That's cool. But they don't know each other. They actually met each other in Miami. Which is interesting. And what are you doing right now? I search uh, information for my company. Mm-hmm. Cool. So now you guys know Eleanor, and we'll see her in our videos. Yes. Right? There you go. Sir. Today we're filming for video bits. You're gonna say very small sentences. Okay. It's okay because we want the French accent. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're doing these little videos now. Did you see the ones I did last week? No. Did you know that scientists have determined that having guilty feelings can damage your immune system? That's why it's good for your health that you call me back. Very quick. Okay, okay. Video bits are short, high quality videos that are formatted specifically for you to be able to send them via text message, which is pretty neat, uh, via email, that's kind of cool too, still around. And then you can also send them, you know, share on social media and other kind of avenues like that. And it gets short, simplistic, but impactful messages across in a quick fashion. And that's when we called in our French intern, Muin. And they'll put you in the studio and it'll, he'll direct you. It'll be quick. Because we were using her as our little test subject as we were filming a tutorial explaining you, the viewer, exactly how it is you can get your own video bits. I say the 
sentence? Yep. <laughs> yeah, basically. Do we need her to have a different top on? What do you mean? Because it's black. Oh, it has to be, uh, yeah, yeah, it can't be black. Yeah, no black. Do you have anything that's not black? Yeah, I have black. gray. Oh, gray would be better. You have a gray yeah, jacket? Gray. Uh, yes. Hey, good. Hey, show him tutorial. Another real neat feature about video bits is that they don't need to be filmed in a studio. They can be filmed anywhere, and we filmed a tutorial explaining this. So we're about to film hers right now in exactly the same way, and that's what we need Mewen for. So we took our tutorial and filmed it anywhere because it shows anyone can do it anywhere they please. Say hello, Mewen. Hello. No, hello, Mewen. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Great to meet you. Looking forward to connecting again soon. Oh, can you read it? Yeah. And uh, I can read. Uh, you have to memorize it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right, ready and action. Why do we use Frenchie? Because everything sounds much more authentic when you hear a French accent. It was great to meet you. Looking forward to meet. No. <laughs> and the cool thing about these is that you can customize it that caters specifically to your client base. When you get a chance, please give me a call. No. <laughs> it was great to meet you. Looking forward to connecting with you soon. We're going to the Taste of Gables at the Colonnade. Mm. What is that? I have no idea. Taste? Taste? You know what it is? Yes, it's the Taste of <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> the team and I were headed there because we were covering the event with uh, one of our shows on the BOA.TV network, which is called Spotlight. And if you're wondering, what is Spotlight? We go in and we highlight high-end events, exclusive red carpet access, and gives you a behind-the-scenes look at the event. We are here. So we're actually like a block or so away because we got to walk. But first, we have to get the equipment out. And Eric has to figure out how to put on his robocop. Can I throw this in a purse? You got a purse I can throw this in? Not really. No, no worries, no worries. I got it. Eric is officially Robocop cup again. Almost. Taste of the Gables was really neat. So we just got here to the seventh annual Taste of Gables, and so far the ambiance is fantastic. 20 or so different restaurants were there to cater and sample some of their fine dishes. So let's give this martini a taste. It's really good. So right now we're just going around, we're checking out the different booths. This whole thing is pretty much a taste tester. So there's a lot of food here and I love food. Let's go, come on. Today we're serving our hush puppies, which is one of our most popular small plate appetizers. Served on a bed of pear and mustard marmalade. You haven't had our sushi tacos yet? Well, guess what? I'm going to make you a plate. This is a uh, house-made rum raisin ice cream. We've tried tuna, we've tried ceviche. Oh, the food, it was small portions, but very, very good. You can all the residents of Coral Gables enjoying the exquisite cuisine. And you're able to uh, enjoy the drinks, which are sponsored by Bacardi. Very nice. And socialize with all the different people from the Gables. So like you'll probably see in the spotlight of this event, it's not really a networking event per se. It's really just a community event for food tasting room. Really. Pretty cool. I like it. It's the type of stuff I used to go to. The food's amazing. The drinks are even better. They're strong. Overall, I thought the event was uh, quite successful, and if you want to see a little bit more about it, you should check out our show, A Taste of the Gables, on Spotlight. Welcome to the family. I'm Val. Don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Psst. Hey. And subscribe, of course. <laughs>